Today, we'll be exploring the fascinating country of Argentina and its history, geography, and people. Whether you're entranced by Argentina's European influence, indigenous cultures, gaucho traditions, or a curious individual eager to learn more, get ready to be utterly enchanted by this extraordinarily diverse country. In Argentina's early history, before Europeans arrived, the land was inhabited by various indigenous groups such as the Guarani, Diaguita, and Mapuche. These groups had their own unique cultures and ways of life, including farming, hunting, and crafting. When the Spanish explorer Juan Díaz de Solís reached the area in 1516, it was the first known European contact with what is now Argentina. Later, in 1536, Spanish settlers tried to establish a city in Buenos Aires, but they struggled due to resistance from the indigenous peoples. In 1580, the Spanish successfully founded Buenos Aires as a permanent settlement, which became an important base for Spanish colonization in the region. During this colonial period, the Spanish exploited the land and the indigenous populations for resources, such as silver and gold, which they shipped back to Spain. After establishing a permanent Spanish settlement in Buenos Aires, Argentina became part of the Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata, a large colonial region governed by Spain. Established by the Spanish crown in 1776, the Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata included present-day Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, and parts of Bolivia, with Buenos Aires as the capital. This region was strategically valuable due to its agricultural potential and access to the Atlantic Ocean. The spread of Enlightenment ideas and the impact of European conflicts, such as the Napoleonic Wars, weakened Spain's control over its colonies and inspired local leaders to seek greater autonomy. The turning point came with the May Revolution in Buenos Aires on May 25, 1810, when local leaders formed the Primera Junta, effectively rejecting Spanish rule. This led to conflicts between regions loyal to Spain and those supporting the new government in Buenos Aires. Despite resistance from royalist forces, Argentina declared its independence from Spain on July 9, 1816, in the city of Tucumán. Key figures such as José de San Martín and Manuel Belgrano played crucial roles in the fight for independence, leading military campaigns and envisioning a united, independent nation. After gaining independence, Argentina faced a period of national organization and development. The country was initially a loose confederation of provinces with regional leaders known as caudillos, who held significant power. Juan Manuel de Rosas, one of these leaders, played a prominent role in Argentine politics from 1829 to 1852. During this time, there were conflicts over the direction of the new nation and how much power the central government should have. The conflicts and challenges during Rosa's time eventually led to a shift in power. His authoritarian rule ended after the Battle of Caseros in 1852, marking a turning point in Argentina's political landscape. This defeat opened the way for a more balanced approach to governance. In 1853, Argentina adopted its first constitution, establishing the Argentine Confederation and creating a federal system of government. This constitution provided a framework for uniting the country's provinces under a central government while respecting regional autonomy. As a result, Argentina began to stabilize and grow, with Bartolomé Mitre becoming the first president of the unified Argentine Republic in 1862. This period of relative stability allowed the nation to develop economically and politically. In the early 1900s, Argentina went through a time of growth and change. The country's economy started to grow beyond just farming, like raising cattle and growing wheat. Instead, cities like Buenos Aires became important centers for business and industry. 
Many people from Europe moved to Argentina during this time, bringing new skills and ideas. This growth in cities and new ways of doing business led to a larger working class population and different political views. As a result, Juan Domingo Perón, a political leader in the 1940s, became popular for his focus on helping workers and supporting social programs. He rose to power by serving in government positions like Vice President and Secretary of Labor. Perón's policies were influenced by the earlier changes in Argentina's economy and society, as he aimed to support the growing working class and improve their lives. His approach showed how the changes in Argentina's early 1900s shaped his political ideas and goals. In 1946, Perón was elected president and began implementing his vision for a third way that combined aspects of capitalism and socialism. His economic policies, known as Peronism, aimed to strengthen the role of the state in the economy through protectionist measures, nationalization of key industries, and increased regulation. He promoted industrialization and infrastructure development while also raising wages and expanding social services such as healthcare and education. Peron's policies helped improve the standard of living for many Argentines, particularly in the urban working class. However, his approach also led to economic challenges such as inflation and increased public debt. His government was marked by authoritarian tendencies, including censorship of the media and suppression of political opposition. Peron's rule was interrupted by a military coup in 1955, but his legacy endured. His influence persisted through subsequent political movements and leaders who identified as Peronists, including his wife, Eva Peron, who played a significant role in his administration and became a beloved figure in Argentine culture. Contemporary Argentina has experienced ongoing economic and political challenges since the early 2000s. The country faced a major economic crisis at the start of the century and has since struggled with issues such as high inflation, debt, and fluctuating currency values. Since gaining independence from Spain in 1816, Argentina has defaulted on its international loans nine times. Notably, three of these defaults have occurred since 2001. This track record of defaults has played a role in the country's ongoing economic difficulties. The light blue cockades, rosettes, worn by patriots in May 1810, when the Spanish viceroy in Buenos Aires lost his authority to the local government, and the uniforms worn by Argentines in 1806 during a British attack on Buenos Aires, may have inspired the pale blue and white striped flag. It wasn't until February 25, 1818, that the golden Sun of May was added to the center of the flag to commemorate the events of May 1810, when the sun supposedly shone through the clouds. After independence, there were debates about whether Argentina should have a strong central government or allow more autonomy for the individual provinces, which often had their flags. Even when acting as independent states, the provinces had few connections with foreign countries, and the flag of Buenos Aires province often represented Argentina internationally. By 1860, Argentina was unified, and the pale blue and white flag became the official flag of the whole country. Argentina is the eighth largest country in the world, covering approximately 2.78 million square kilometers or 1.07 million square miles. The country stretches from the subtropical north to the subantarctic south with a range of geographical features such as the Andes Mountains in the west, the Pampas Grasslands in the central region, and the Patagonian Steppes in the south. The capital city of Argentina is Buenos Aires, a bustling metropolis and cultural hub located on the eastern coast. Argentina shares borders with several countries, Chile to the west, Bolivia and Paraguay to the north, Brazil to the northeast, and Uruguay to the east. 
Argentina's climate varies greatly across its regions due to its size and geographical diversity. In the north, summer temperatures can reach around 95 degrees Fahrenheit or 35 degrees Celsius. Meanwhile, the south experiences much colder winter temperatures, around 41 degrees Fahrenheit or 5 degrees Celsius. The central region, including Buenos Aires, has a temperate climate with summer temperatures ranging from about 60 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 15 to 27 degrees Celsius. In winter, temperatures in the central region range from 45 to 55 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 to 13 degrees Celsius. Argentina has a population of approximately 46,621,847 people as of 2023, ranking it 33rd in the world in terms of population size. The nationality of its people is referred to as Argentines for both noun and adjective forms. The ethnic makeup of the country is primarily composed of individuals of European descent, mainly Spanish and Italian, and Mestizo, making up about 97.2% of the population. There are also smaller indigenous groups at 2.4% and a minor African descent population at 0.4% as of 2010. Spanish is the official language of Argentina, although other languages such as Italian, English, German, and French are spoken. Indigenous languages, including Quechua, Guarani, and Mapudungun, are also present in the country. In terms of religion, the majority of the population, about 62.9%, identifies as Roman Catholic. Another 15.3% adhere to evangelical faiths, including Pentecostal denominations, while 1.4% are followers of Jehovah's Witness and the Church of Jesus Christ. Other religious groups account for 1.2%, including Muslim and Jewish communities. Around 18.9% of the population claim no religious affiliation, encompassing agnostic and atheist individuals. Argentina has produced many world-famous individuals across various fields, leaving a lasting impact on the global stage. In sports, soccer legends such as Diego Maradona and Lionel Messi have thrilled fans worldwide with their exceptional skills. In music, Argentina is the birthplace of tango, and artists like Astor Piazzolla have contributed to the genre's international fame. The nation is also home to celebrated artists like painter and sculptor Jules Solar, known for his innovative works. Additionally, Argentina's political landscape has seen influential figures like Eva Perón, whose advocacy for women's rights and social justice made her an iconic figure in history. Argentina has evolved from its indigenous roots and Spanish colonization to a vibrant, culturally rich country with a strong national identity and global influence. If you enjoyed this video on Argentina, you'll love this next one.